want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck. I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. Hi guys, how are you doing? In this video, we're gonna do a little bit of work on my Traxxas Slash 4x4. So I think it's time to put a new body shell on this thing. This thing's definitely had it now. Definitely time for a new one. I've got some killer body ones hanging up here. One's a painted one. Got a couple of clear ones there as well. And over here we have a Ford Raptor Flotec. And over here we've got another Flotec. I don't know what the hell this one is. This one's pre-cut, fusion clear. The thing is when you're jumping these things, the air just gets underneath and they just parachute so badly. And apparently these Flotec shells are supposed to sort that out. Also, there's some other work I've just done on this. I've just put a plastic drive shaft back in there. That's all I've got for now, but I have ordered some of the MIP steel shafts. So when they come, they're coming all the way from, from America. So I can't find anywhere in the UK that has them. So once they come, they'll be on there. I've just replaced the shock tower, put an RPM one on there because I broke the standard one. But I don't know why it's all sort of locked up since I put that in. So I'm gonna have to have a little look at that. I don't know why that is locked up. I mean, I loosen these screws off again and it, it's still locked up. So I will have to investigate. Also, I took the RPM bumpers back off. This is the rear one. And that didn't last long. I took one out to get the BMX track and the thing slaughtered. So I put the standard bumpers back on. Even the front one, I put the standard one back on because people were saying the RPM one just rips off. So I'm going to paint this thing my standard red colour. This is Abzema red. So here's the body shell that I'm using in case anybody wants to part number. All right, let's get this thing cracked open. With a bit of luck, all I've got to do is make some holes and the thing should fit straight on. Alright, so I kind of just eyeballed it on there. And if you look carefully, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's got little dimples already on the body shell marked out. So all I've got to do is use them as a centre point and everything should line up perfectly. A lot of newbies always ask me, how do you put holes in the body shells? Well, I use these body reamers. When I first started out, I didn't know these things existed, and I just used a drill bit. But what that does, that sort of tears the plastic up, and it doesn't make a very nice hole. But these things here, if you're going to get into RC, guys, it's some, one of the tools that you just have to have. It just makes such easy work of it. Look at that. Seconds and a perfect hole. you just got to be careful that you don't go in too deep make that hole too big. So it's better just to do it in little small increments. Beautiful. I tell you what, cutting these shells out, that's one of the jobs that I don't really like doing. So I'm pretty chuffed that it's done for me. <laughs> Look, just found that in the packet and it shows you on there which holes you're supposed to use for what car. But luckily I figured it out for myself. The next job, we have to clean the body shell and then stick these masks on the windows. First of all, we want to scruff up the plastic a little bit on the inside. I use one of these scotch bright pads. And it just helps the paint stick. And I especially pay attention around the wheel arches because that's where normally the paint comes off if it's going to come off. And sort of around the front and the back where it gets knocked. You just got to be a little bit careful that you don't go over the windows, otherwise it's going to make them look all scratched up. Next, we've got to degrease the body shell. I like using brake cleaner. You can use dish water, dish soap, but it takes a little bit longer. It's a bit more work. This is easy. Just spray a bit on there. Give it a quick wipe over. We should be good to go. And it probably is worth it, guys, if you're going to do it with brake cleaner, is to test it on a small part first, just to make sure that it's not going to melt your body shell. I mean, I find this worth stuff. It doesn't melt any plastic at all, so I use it for degreasing all sorts of different things. Some of the other brands, guys, they have been known to attack the plastic. So be careful. So next, we can stick on these window masks. And then it's probably worth just degreasing the bits again where I've put my greasy fingers. That's worth noting guys that the paint, when you put it on and it's cold, it's gonna be difficult to get it on nicely. It's gonna dribble and it's gonna go all horrible. So it's worth warming the can up a little bit before you put it on. I just left it chilling on top of my Bitcoin miner, but you can leave it in some warm water as well, that'll work. Or if you live somewhere else other than the UK, where it's a little bit warmer, you probably won't have to bother about warming these things up. All right, so the more coats you can give this thing, the better, but I'm not the most patient of people, and this thing's probably not gonna be lasting that long anyway. It's probably not gonna take long, it's all gonna be smashed up. But I'll give it a quick dusting, let it dry, and then go over it another couple of times. 
And while we're waiting for that paint to dry, we can just cut out some of these stickers. One little trick I like doing is if you hold it up to the light and you can see where it's thin, you need to put more on. All right, so I'm gonna give that 10 minutes, let it dry off a little bit, and then we're gonna back it with some of this white. In case you're wondering why I'm gonna back it with the white, it's because if you don't, it sort of stays a little bit see-through in, a bit dull looking. And you can back it with black as well, it doesn't have to be white, but if you back it with black, you get more of a dull color like this one here. Might be a little bit difficult to see on the camera. And if you back it with a white, you get more of a brighter red, like on this one here, and that's what I like. All right, so that's dry now, so that's dry enough to put some of this stuff on there. We don't have to go too mad. Just gonna give it one coat like that, and that'll do. And some of you pros out there are probably gonna laugh at me, but give it a couple of bath sessions. It's not gonna look that nice anyway. That'll do, job done. So while it's drying off, I just wanna let you guys know about my Facebook page. What I'm gonna start doing, guys, is when I upload videos, I don't always publish them. Sometimes I upload videos and they could be on there like a week early. And I try and publish sort of one video a day to sort of keep them consistent. But what I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna put a link to that video on my Facebook page, so you'll be able to see that video early. So if you're interested, guys, check the link below, like my Facebook page, and check out all the videos on there before anyone else does. It also comes with these little things there, and it looks like they're the little bits that go on the sides here. But, I don't know, I think they might get ripped off. So I don't know, I'm gonna see how it looks without them, and then I might put them on. I guess it's gonna make it sort of fly through the air a little bit better when they're on there, so I don't know, I might try it on and off and see what happens. All right, I'm a bit confused now why this gearbox has seized up. It's, it's gone all stiff. And the wheels are turning nicely. So it's definitely not that. I thought maybe it was this that I put on there. Maybe the RPM shock tower was digging into the, like the diff gear there. But I've taken that off now and it's still stiff. So I don't know what the hell it can be, guys. Well, I've moved the motor away from the spur gear. It's still stiff. Look at that. What the hell can that be? That makes no sense. Because I only done it after I installed this RPM rear shock tower thing. But when I take it off, it's still, it's still stiff. So I suppose if we take this off, we can gauge if it's the front or the rear doing it. Right, that's smooth. The back end, lovely and smooth. That is perfect. So it has to be, has to be inside the front diff. The only other thing what I can think that it could possibly be is where I put these screws in here is that they're too long and hitting the diff. Could that be the case? Ha! Would you look at that? So that's the problem guys, I've got to put shorter screws in here. Hey! Alright, so this is all touch dry now. So now we can go ahead Pull this thing off, I tell you what guys, back in the day, when I painted my first RC body, I didn't know about this, and I put all my stickers on, looked at it all and I thought, ah, beautiful. And then I realised that this comes off, <laughs> and it wasn't beautiful. Oh, check that out guys, that is such an awesome colour. See that white backing paint, that really does make the colour pop. Oh, let's get some stickers on. So here I've got an option of two. I've got this meshy looking thing. Or we can go with... Yeah, I think I prefer that one. I'm stupid, that's supposed to go on there. So lucky I didn't stick it on the window, eh? Alright, she's all done guys, moment of truth! Oh, oh, that looks wicked! But I think it does need these things sticking on guys. So, yeah, I'm gonna put them on. Ah, 
All right, now it looks better. Let's try again. You know what you gotta do, guys. Subscribe. So hopefully, with all these holes in here, that's gonna stop that parachute effect. And what I'm hoping is that body's gonna last longer. Because nine times out of ten, when I crash this, it's because the wind got under it and it used to land in all sort of crazy angles. And there's even got some extra bits that you can cut out. So I want to give it a go, see what it's like. If it still parachutes, then I might cut out some more of these other vents and just see how that goes. So we're going to hit the skate park soon, we're going to hit the BMX track, we're going to go up to Heath and we're going to see how this thing goes. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page guys, because all the videos are going to be on there first. And sometimes you might even see some of the videos like a week early, but normally you're going to see them like a couple of days early, something like that. So alright guys, hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified. See you soon guys. You know what you gotta do.